Back in a minute. Well, they get this started. Sorry, what were you saying? I was going to say, I'll be back in a minute. Okay. While they get this started. And while they all download the map. Yeah, because none of them are going to have it. Actually, some of them might. It's possible. Not completely unplayed. Not played very often, but it's not no, totally unplayed. Okay. <sighs> hmm. So Zed, very linear map. Might see spiders, since they will work quite well. But I imagine we'll just see light vehicles and maybe cloaky, because that's what people always go for. I don't know. Black Duchy will probably go spiders. Drone will probably go light vehicles. And then... Or maybe cloaky. Actually, Drone will probably go cloaky, because you get a lot of mileage off cloaky. There isn't much of a difference between what you can do with cloaky and what you can do with spiders. Whereas light vehicles pretty much have just one linear path that cloaky can go around. I'm gonna assume. I don't, that. I don't know. Z I don't know Zed very well. I've um. I think I think I've seen one game played on it. Yeah, I've se I've played one. I've seen one. It's not very popular. <laughs> I mean, part of it is that's new, but part of it is that it just isn't that popular. I think in large part because the main path is so linear. It really does not do any favors. Oh, I see what the problem is. Yeah, so it should say, be interesting. I can't say I know Black... Uh, I haven't seen Black Duchy much either, certainly not recently. No, neither have I. I really have no idea what they're going to be doing. Play Shield. Um, looks like Drone's got a uh, light vehicle factory. Okay, well that's... And of course cube. <laughs> turn on, I forget to turn off map marks and I throw in the SVG cube, eh? I haven't seen that in a long time. Okay. And yes, I'd like Monica Mag Magic Gift just as much as I did what? last time that came up. Sorry. It's always confusing me that it's not Cube who um. Who, no, it's not Cube that did that. that. Cube did not put themselves on the map that way. Or not put a drawing in themselves on the map. Mm. That was Black Duchy. Yeah, well, I think Cube and Black. Yeah, it's especially confusing when I think Cube and Black Duchy used to play 2v2 together. Oh, that might be why. Just flashing gang signs. Well, okay, not really gang signs, but you know what I mean. Okay, drone, yeah, okay, so bandit and light vehicles, so drone doing exactly what I expected with the light vehicles. Black Duchy, not quite what I expected. I'm oh, sorry, not exactly, no, I expected drone to go for cloaky, not for light vehicles. I thought light vehicles at first, and then I realized, no, they'd go for cloaky, because that would... Black Duchy. I think of the it's yeah, Dorsch. It's official. Corona Dorsch. Black Duchy is a magical girl. Right. <laughs> well, I believe neither of them had this map downloaded, so presumably no, none of it's them are familiar. Very, with it. I think it's, it's a very tricky map too because it's hard to tell at first that the ramps are bot path only, and that if you are going for light vehicles, you're stuck on the flat plateau at the top. So right now, Black Duchy can go right down this ramp, up the next one. And then rip apart drone's base from behind, and that's exactly what they're going to do with a couple of the bandits. Drone sees it coming. Or no, no, they don't. <laughs> Stupid cold. Drone sees it coming, or probably doesn't see it coming. They're they're aware of its likelihood, but they can't really counter other than you no know, defensively. 
But besides the defense, that's yeah, this, all they yeah, have. The score just, just not gonna work out well here. Sadly, no. So this like this map looks like a really good light vehicle map, and then it turns out it really, really isn't. Like it most certainly is not, and it's hard to realize that at first, actually. I think the um, Bandit versus Scorcher matchup is actually better for the Bandits than the Cloaky versus Scorcher one is, because the Bandits are, yeah, ba whereas the whereas the Glaives were faster than Scorchers, the Bandits are slower, but their range is they have a, a, enough more range that the, the sweet spot where you, where you're hitting the Scorchers, but they're not slugging you with the heat rays is much easier to be in. Basically, you're in that range if you're getting hit. Like if the Scorchers are hitting you, the range is, I believe, the difference in range is about the yeah. size of the Bandit. Yes, I believe I just looked something like 270 for the Scorcher. Yeah, 245. So it's for 25 Elmo difference, and the bandits are about that wide. So this map's a, a lot clearer if you turn off line of sight. If you have line of sight on the low ground, it's just pitch black for me. Yeah, you can't even tell. I have. But, I never turn it off on when I'm doing commentary. So yeah. Yeah. So this is definitely a map that is going to be difficult to work with. I just there's no denying that this is not an easy map to work with. It's pretty, but oh yeah, it's difficult. It, although admittedly there's a skybox error, but it's pretty other than the skybox reflections being flipped. However, it's yeah, it's not the most practical. Like for bandit, spiderbot, cloaky, it all works fine. For light vehicles, it is hard, much worse than it looks. Huh. So Trent's gone into Slasher now, which I think is, well, it's working out okay for him so far, but the bandits coming around the side now is going to, going to put him in some strife. The, the, the leveler looks like a problem, but leveler a single leveler actually loses to its cost in bandits. It's a bit counterintuitive given the normal Raider Riot, tri Raider Riot Skirmisher Triangle, but... It is counterintuitive, but the thing is, levelers also beat thugs outright. So, Shieldbot versus Light Vehicle is yeah. just an odd matchup that way. I mean, in numbers, it, when the levelers can first hit Alpha a bunch of ba bandits, I suspect the matchup looks a fair bit different. Well, actually, that's no, no, sorry, that's true of levelers in general. Levelers, as a riot unit, are a little unusual in that they really do rely on that Alpha. Like, they, because their fire rate is so low, they work better when both them and their opponents are in groups. Like, it's not like say warriors which just scale linearly. Levelers don't scale well until they have a fairly large number of them, and then they just wipe out anything. So they have this odd drop off when you when you don't have very many, and that's that can be something that's rather difficult to deal with. But it's always something to keep in mind with levelers. It's like you basically have to commit to levelers if you want them to be effective. Otherwise, they'll do effectively nothing. Which is a little bizarre, but that's that's how levelers work. Black Dutch is looking for this wrap around the back side of the map, which I don't know if drone sees at all. Does the same? No, drone has no the radar map. there. They their radar edge is actually a little bit. Before that, I think. Oh yeah, no, they just have. Sorry, they had radar actually. They did see it coming. They just didn't have anything nearby. I guess they went for the yeah, counterattack instead. Has to so, Black Dutch has to be patient here with these roaches. If you run the roaches at the well, at the that works. While they're ready to fire, it doesn't work. But, but if you had the roaches in place to begin it. with, <laughs> yep. Nicely done. And one-two punch with the back well, attack there too. It's just and drone getting their scorchers trapped here. Although the outlaw is going to die, but still. That. Wow. There's another roach. Bit of friendly fire, but that was like totally roaches, worth it. I feel like roach is a strongly underrated unit, to be honest. Like, oh, they are. In the, in the same way that tick is. I mean, roaches and ticks are underrated because they require a decent amount of micro, and you have to, for a lot of it, set them up beforehand. Because a lot of the time yes. you're rushing in and there's a lotus, and the lotus will kill them. Like, you cannot fight a lotus with a roach. You just can't. It'll die. Yeah, they're, they're not. A, they're not. Yeah, they're not an offensive weapon most of the time. Unless, unless, unless you have an eraser. Playing one of those erase. Yeah, unless you're playing a racer roach, but as a defensive tool. Yeah, and a racer roach. That's like a minute and a half of setup. 
Like you have to build the eraser, and then you have to rather sneak the peep. Then you have to morph it. Then you have to get the roach. At the same time, it's a minute and a half of setup. It's massive. I mean, the basic path of just games taking is um, fairly typical. It looks like drones just pushing through with sheer economy. You know, not not, not a particularly clever unit composition or anything. Just more units. Hello, Black. No, Black uh, Touchy's even. Black, Black Touchy's Black ahead in that regard. Black Touchy's actually pushing. Is pushing back now. This turn around. Drone still has the army advantage by about by about one thousand metal. But that's the commander. I feel like if. Yeah. Oh, has Black Duchy lost the commander? I think. I oh no, no, Black Duchy's commander. No, Black Duchy never, still mind. Has... never mind. Never mind. But Black Duchy yeah. does have a stronger economy. They have the harassment path they can use Drone whenever is... they like, and they have. Drone is morphing his commander. Okay, so their commander's level two compared to Black Duchy's at level zero. So that's the difference. Well, that's part of the difference. At any rate, looks like it's just a that and weapon, and then a whole lot of nano lights. Yeah. This... Like... Black Duchy's going to be able what to be a what would be a winning move for drone here? Right is to now, to switch to some kind of bot factory. If, if he yeah. switches to some kind of bot factory and goes around the bottom right, I mean that, that would to that would I think that would just end the game. Like yeah, they switch to so much of Black Dutch's economy. If they got a well, it could be factory. jump or shield or just any any bot factory would do the trick. You switch to amphibians. I think I would go for Cloakie personally just for the sheer low weight of it. Like you get it out faster. Yeah, maybe. Like it'd be a few seconds faster, but it might be enough. However, Black Touchy basically yeah. doing the same thing that you were saying that drone should do. And that might close out the game. Getting rid of all the wind and the where's the fusion plant? Because it's got That's actually quite that's actually pretty bad. Oh, there's um, a fusion the, plant. But it doesn't matter. I, I think I I think I would be sorry, go on. I was looking for the fusion plant, go on. Sorry. You know, I think I would be going jump because Fire, Firewalker and Placeholder would... Oh yeah, would, against that, that balls? Would, fire, yeah, against that ball in the middle, that, that, would, that would be a good thing to have for the middle fight and delay to hit the back. Yeah, that that's actually a really good point. And Drone with the Disruptor Shot, or Disruptor Bomb. Oh, that's what that's what he's been morphing his commander for. That's Good move. That's interesting. I, of the D guns, that one is one of my favorites, actually. I think it's the one that I think it's the only one I've ever seen people use. Because the other one, like, no, I've, I've seen people use slam. Oh, um, with the missiles. I haven't really seen that much. Yeah, it's, it's like a, it's like a, an imp, like a, an impale across with a missile silo kind of. I, I, that one's kind of new. That one's. Vaguely come into the meta recently. I think it's mostly a teams game thing. Yeah, it um, would be. No one be, no one makes more than level one commander in one v one most of the time. This is unusual. Like drone is desperate. Mm. Yeah, well, the, the disruptive bomb is going to be really effective here. But yes. It's going to. And that's why I use it because I mean, if you have that or sunburst cannon, well, you have either damage or damage and slow, meaning everything else follows up and does a lot more damage. Mm. Like so, where the this entire kind of ball is now slowed down. Well, I, I don't follow it. Yes and no. So, so I was saying earlier about you know drone, drone doesn't win games with creativity. I mean, like he has this disruptor bomb comp, which is kind of odd and kind of creative, but he is not thinking to. F he, he could fax switch really easily here and cripple Black Dutch's economy, and it's just not happening. Yeah, well, and he it, might they could have. Now Black Dutchie's Black Dutchie's going along that same path. Black Dutchie essentially is going to block that off, even if it happened. Now, like it's too late. The timing window is closed. Uh, well, there's still no defenses there. I mean, Black Dutch is going That's to true. run these bandits in, he's into, going a run these bandits into a Stardust. Uh, they might not all die. It's actually a lot of bandits. Well, they're running into it uphill, and they get in range right as they get up the hill. And they crest the hill, going over the top, into range of the Stardust. And a bunch of them die before they even get in them. Yeah, this is... Well, the Stardust is still going to die. So the first wave... The first wave over the top does get rid of the Stardust. There's only three survivors. But after that, yeah, it's free. Mm. It's going to do a fair bit of damage, but in the meantime, Black Duchy has lost a lot of his army in the middle. He tried to attack into the two stingers and lost a lot of rogues to do it. Ooh. So that's, yeah. that's hurting him in the middle, and, the, and this Wolverine push is going to be very hard for the shields to deal with. The question is, can Black Duchy just can Black Duchy do enough damage hitting around the sides? Almost one more wind. One more wind. Ah, oh, they only need to kill like one or two more wind generators, and then reclaim would have been worthless. 
as it is, drone is actually pretty close to not being able to reclaim much. Like, they can only reclaim what they're reclaiming now, so it still slows them down. And also, that would have been a really good time for a Sky Dust. Rather than a standard Stardust. Like, a Terraform Stardust would have been perfect well, this, as a defensive the, position. The Sky Dust wouldn't have finished in time, though. That, that Stardust only just came up in time to, de to deal with those bandits. Oh, fair enough. But yeah, at this point... Drone at 66 metal? Oh, plus three... Oh, I see. They're just... They're yeah, powering through the high wind. Climb. Yeah, the wind's pushed up, and then now they're able to reclaim. Oh, they're powering hard. Black Dutch has gone into um, Racketeers to deal with the uh, Stingers, which is but being effective as as um, Racketeers generally are. Yeah, so but at this point, I don't know. That, I don't know that it's going to work out nearly so well against the Wolverines. The Wolverines are going to the Wolverines will continue to be a problem. They will, but the Outlaws do clear mines. Although, why are the Outlaws not on all the time? They should just be on. Turn the on switch on. Turn it black touchy, there is an on switch for a reason. I think they move a bit slower, but who cares? You get rid of mines. You'll live. Dr Drone switched into gunship now, which is his. So it seems to be his um stand standard response. Well that is the standard 1v1 response, of course, is you go air. You you deal with some trouble, you go for air or gunship. Drones only just started now to, to start reclaiming these trees. Each of those trees is 20 metal, 60 energy. There's a fair few trees oh. on the map. That is, that's yeah, up to a couple energy, hundred metal. They had energy issues before. That would have been handy. We'll have to remember that if I play on this map sometime. Oh yeah, those trees are not... They're not worthless, but they're kind of... They're easy they're to metal. underrate. Recl like, they're, they're pretty decent. They're just, it's easy to underrate them. Because they don't look like they'd give that much energy, but they do. So Drone's now going to attack this down this right-hand side. Instead of doing it with some kind of bots, he's doing it with three brawlers, brawlers which I can't help but think is brawlers, which I can't help but think is a little bit of overkill. But it'll but it will do the job. It'll do some part of the job, but then there's a razor. And there's yeah, only two there's brawlers. Been more razors. Black Dutchie has switched to light vehicle, and he is making an impaler. Uh, it's it's going to deal with the static defenses here, but the real mm -hmm. trouble... Well, the static defenses are actually a fair bit of the trouble, but the Wolverine, but the Wolverines are causing a lot of... a lot of, a lot of headache. Mm -hmm. I think the path... Black, Black Dutchy should... Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to push around the sides now, because drones just covered everything with Stardusts, but I think Black Dutchy has, has to find a way if he, if he can keep drone off balance and keep hitting drone's economy, then he stands a chance here. But if he doesn't, I don't know. I think drones managed to get into great position. This is an awesome position. Like these brawlers right now. Yeah, they're in a he really good position. He has to not lose them to the razors. But, yeah, but yeah, a little he, bit he further west. Them to the razors. Yeah, it's, that's problematic. Very much so. Yeah. The only thing is, of course, that drone. Drone can't really push the center that easily. So those brawlers could be dealt with, which that's saying something, but still, if they could be dealt with, then Black Dutchy would be in a much safer position overall. Like, they could still... I don't know, there's actually a lot of brawlers everywhere. I think Drone might once again be able to power through. Uh, Black yeah, Dutchy was yeah, the brawlers clear. have cleaned up a lot of... The, the yeah, the brawlers have cleaned up a lot of Black Dutchie's economy, and that's going to be a, that's a serious problem. For that him. is a serious problem. Black Dutchie's but, uh, half the economy of drone right now. But even so, like, Black Dutchie is putting up a... I mean, it's partly helped by the fact that Drone um, plopped a factory, which I'd say is not ideal on this map, but... Black Dutchie's putting up a serious fight here for this. Although, drones now start on the missile silo, and when that blows up the um, blows up the fusion reactor, I think Black Dutch's economy is just going to tank. Well, I mean, the thing is, the fusion reactor even then doesn't matter. Black Dutch's economy is already not very good. And the fusion reactor tanking it's, it's, will finish it. It's not good it. now. The, yeah, it'll it'll yeah. have the economy right out. Yeah, Black Dutch is now switching to 
jump. I guess for a firewalker? That's the only thing that makes sense. I mean, against the, against the mines. Anything else yeah. would be suicide. Probably too, probably too late, but it makes sense. Sending in a bunch of Bandits to die. roaches down the bottom, but I don't think they're going to get close enough to anything to actually do much damage. Well, they might get the, if they get the I missile think silo. They have if, all oh, oh, that missile silo. Oh yeah, they're not all terrain. Those are bot pathing. They're not ticks. But one of them is going to spot that missile silo before it goes off. Oh, but the defender nails it. Does not spot the missile silo. That sucks. I don't think yeah. There's no a single roach doesn't kill a missile silo anyway. A single one doesn't know, but I think like, two of them. Oh no, before them. Never mind. They need four. So yeah, that's. And here are some infernos. So yeah, that's. I think game. I think that's. Yeah, yeah, that looks. Like, those, the missile silo looks like it should finish yeah, this. Last that she had a promising position too. It's just that they ended up. They couldn't really take advantage of it. I think they just didn't hit enough around the sides. Like they, yeah. They did a few it good raids here well, and there, it, but it, be it became it became difficult to hit around the sides when this when the stardust went up. Um, yeah. I feel like Black Dungey had a good position, but then didn't oh, yeah, didn't transition into something which would win the which would actually win fast enough. Yeah, like a Strider or something. With the economy they had, they could have done it too. And that's the Inferno to finish it. Inferno's yep. everywhere. It's the army, it's the economy. It's more the economy. Uh. Yeah, this is game. Look at that, why? Oh well, I mean, go to game two. This was interesting, I was actually surprised that drone managed to come back even though they went for light vehicles, which is disadvantaged on this map. And yet, there was Firewalker for the Jump Bot Factory, but at this point, it doesn't really matter. Because one more hit gets rid of the... There's the fusion gun. I mean, Black Dutch's economy was already being pretty heavily damaged. They don't even have enough energy to use the metal they have. Let alone if they had Reclaim. I don't know if they have any other tricks with their sleeve, but I don't think they can. I don't know if it's just mumble or whether it'll be affecting the castle. You just, just right now, you um, hear. I'm hearing you a little bit garbled. What? I don't know what's causing that. Might be on my end. I have no idea. How about now? Uh, don't. You have to talk a bit longer, but I don't think okay. it's an improvement. Well, that might just be mumble then. I said it could just be my end. Yeah, I'm surprised you actually haven't gotten garbled yet, and that's game. I mean, drone took it, but I'm surprised you haven't gotten garbled yet, because oftentimes when I'm talking to Sackdoth or Google Frog, do they get garbled from time to time? Yeah, it's definitely kicking in now. Maybe I need to... Yeah, that's your end, I think. Because I just, I mean, I reinitialized in OBS, so... I'm just more worried, oh, are people on the stream getting screwed over? But no, they're fine. Yeah, and it looks okay, like they're fine. Hubei and Lori them. has I'll, finished... Um... Cube took it 2-1. Wow. I'll... Wow! Against Lori? Mm. That is. Cube is pretty good. Cube is good, rusty. I agree. It's I just that. Perhaps you remembered to build energy this time. I suppose so, because Lori is not a bad player. Wow. Okay, I did not expect that at all. On a game two of. Drone and Black Duchy, which is going to be on Black Duchy's choice of map. Whew. Okay, so at this point, yeah, right, I said another thing too. Snuggle Base beat Yachtot, it's going to be against Lori. And Orphelius waiting on Drone and Black to Wait, finish what? their match. Oh, and losers bracket. Snuggle base beat Orphelius. Uh, uh, or snuggle you know, base beat Yasta. You, know, you know, I heard you. I just uh, that wasn't the outcome I expected from that match. I suppose it is the best of one. Yeah. On a map which I suspect Snuggle base will be. Uh, that, that would have been on Z too. It's entirely possible Snuggle base is, is um, more familiar with that map. I'm pretty sure Snuggle base is. Although this is probably a good sign because Snuggle Base is doing a bunch of newbie training stuff, so hey, if they're doing well, especially doing well out of being late for a tournament. Yeah, that's a bit unfortunate. And so what's going on now? So 
The snuggle base is now playing Lori in lower bracket, and then Cube yep. waits for the winner of this in the winners bracket finals. Yep. So if Drone wins this, then it'll be winners finals there. And if Black Tushy wins this on Baron, so another small map. And if you if you were paying attention when I was talking before about map sizes, Baron is an eight x eight map. So if you're wondering what an eight x eight map looks like, that's roughly the size we're talking about. It is a diagonal start eight by eight map though, which makes True. it feel a little bit bigger. I mean, it's. I mean, yeah, it's eight by eight. Other eight by maps, I believe. Geyser Plains is 8x8, but it feels tiny because it's all flat and you start at the sides. Um, Sorry, which map? Geyser Plains. Oh, yeah, Geyser Plains is... That is that does feel tiny. Though the flatness, I think, is the biggest part of it because even though most things can path on most things, it's always worth considering the fact that even when something is flat, it, or rather, when something is hilly, yeah, it can path, but it's slower. And you're going to be using it less because you're also not sure what's on the other side, or you'll have defenses up on the hills, and so it just it makes the map feel small, or it makes the map feel bigger, just by the way that units yeah. can be slower. And then there's Altair Crossing is also eight by eight. It's um, it's again side starts, but there are some hills on the map. Yeah. So yes, it, it feels so it feels some, somewhere in between Baron Geyser Plains, as you'd expect. Sorry, which one? I'm sorry, I missed the map name. Um, Bar so this is Baron. Yep. Baron, as, as eight by eight go, as eight by eight maps go, Baron feels, Baron feels larger than Altair Crossing, and then Altair Crossing feels larger than Geyser oh, yeah. Plains. All right. Well, drone setting up for. There we go. Match starting, Cloakie versus Jumpbot from Black Duchy. Interesting choice from Black Duchy, and a good choice to start with puppies as well, seeing as Cloakie does not do well against puppies. At least not with Glaives. Very good choice there. Yes, that trade, that trade generally does not work out well. That is really good there. So Drone right now in a strong position, Black Duchy... Oh, sorry, Black Duchy in a strong position. Drone right now not in a strong position, far weaker than it looks. And Black Duchy, the only downside is that they build too many puppies, Drone might catch on. But Drone doesn't know, they're just going for a straight glaive. Because that's what you do when you start out. Okay, apparently like Black Duchy is using the holy puppy, or holy hand puppies. I'm sure how that actually translates. I feel like that, lo that Lotus from Black Duchy is a mistake. That's that's metal. He doesn't need to spend with the with the puppies there, and especially if he's, especially if he's only going to use the puppies defensively. That's metal. He doesn't need to spend the second. The second lotus is a blunder. The first one was merely a mistake. Okay, he's not actually building it good. Okay. The, sec the second lotus there is so much overkill. I, well, they were just they were busy saying prayer for the holy hand puppies. I'm not kidding. They actually did type in the the prayer for Monty Python. Yeah, and the holy no, I saw that. I mean, the other thing here is that, or just small things, but Black Duchy has taken, took the 1.0 mechs at the top here before the 1.8 mechs. It only makes, a, only makes a difference of a handful of metal, but... Hey, that's, that's, kind of, that is that's the a kind big of difference. Thing. You're a top-level yeah, tournament thing right which now. Drone, yeah, that is the kind of thing which Drone gets right. Yeah, so... F4 view is a thing. Hit F4. You know, many matches, it's not relevant, but on this one, it happens yeah. to me. And now a bunch of glaives die. And a bunch. Mm. Uh, come on, kill the glaive. Or don't. I mean, the thing here is that Black Dutch is not exerting pressure on the map, and so Drone is naked expanding. This Again! Is how games with Drone go. This is the same thing that happened against. Well, with Orphelius. Although Orphelius beat Q Bay then, but still. Oh no, they lost. Well, they beat them in the... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But yeah. For some, de for some definition of bait. That was a weird game. But anyway, I mean, the Red Common game, specifically. But we keep seeing this. It's like, put pressure! Like, the fact that Drone... I, I don't know if it's because Drone is number one or what, but Black Duchy just seems intimidated. 
Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, going for puppies not I mean, the fact of the matter... Yeah, I mean, the fact of the matter is... Black Dutch, he probably loses this no matter what he does. Just... Not a knock on him, but there's a 600 ELO difference here for a reason. Yeah, that's true. And so, yes, the, you know, the intimidation factor is very real. Yeah, I'm sure that's something that... I'm sure that's something that's really benefiting Drone right now. I mean, the fact is Drone is still able to naked expand and has no reason to respect Black Dutchie because Black Dutchie has done nothing, basically, at this point. Well, the, the Pyro did... Uh, the Pyro has punished him a little bit for naked expanding top. He didn't find the Constructor, sadly, for him, but, um, but, but the Pyro has stopped the... Um, Conjurer from just expanding there. True. But the Pyro runs into a warrior and probably dies. Thus the lack probably of Probably could suspense. have jumped to get out of that. I think it already yeah. had jumped. Because it had just jumped to try to get that Conjurer. Possibly. Though it should have, yeah, it might have cooled down by then. Anyway. Yeah, Black Duchy now finally getting the expansion up, but still not paying attention to metal values. But hey, a little bit, any little bit is going to actually help out. They're, they're neck and neck. But energy. Keep, everyone forgets energy. I forget energy sometimes too, so I understand, but still. Black Dutch is getting that last few, well, not last few, but another solar collector. Still, this is drone's game right now. Oh, ooh, wait, no, nice. Can that power get rid of the Lotus? No, no, it cannot. But, well, It'll it can. It'll kill the mechs, though, through the it, Lotus. It can get rid of the Lotus, it just has to die first. Okay, so that's not much damage. Like, a tiny little bit of metal. Drone is still notably ahead. Black Duchy has some chance here, but... Ooh, nice, got rid of that. Mm. That defender... <laughs> nope, defender cannot finish it off. So this next defender should be able to. The, the scythe, yep. I feel like, could have run away and would have lived, but it instead would have, chose yes. to run in a direction that chose to run in a direction that was not away. And here comes the next scythe, which we finish off that defender. Not before it um, takes a few more free pot shots at, at the glaives, though. I think the scythe is like I, that scythe. The glaive was cheating on the scythe's wife. It just needed an excuse. It was just waiting, you know. When is that glaive gonna just get in a bad position? I'm not gonna kill it, just gonna Wait, let it die. Hold on, I didn't know that. Hold on. Okay, I'm sorry, that was sexist. It could have been either a wife or a husband. It cheated on this glaive's spouse. I mean, whatever. I never realized that. Two puppies exactly kills a scythe. That is some serious value. Yeah, wow. Let's see, that's 410. Yeah, it, Wow, yeah, bang on, because that's a 20 health. Well, I know the pup, pup, there's, there's a lot of things which have, like, their damage plus 0.1. Yeah, well, internally, yes. So. But the, the plus 0.1 is internally so that no matter what happens, it will look exactly as it does. The damage is empirical. Like, what the damage you see is correct. That's been corrected a while ago. Yeah, right. Those puppies are getting good value, though. I mean, all those glaives are dying inside of Black Duchy's territory. Black Duchy has all this reclaim to work with once the power's back on. And now the power's back on, so hey, reclaim! Reclaim away! Once you get a worker. How many workers? Two Freakers, one of which is in the field, I believe. Where's the other one? Oh, never mind. Actually, one of them is perfectly in position, so reclaim can happen. Awesome. So Black Duchy can actually get themselves into a slightly more confident position. And Drone, wow, that's a lot of defenders. Granted, that's barren for you in a nutshell, but still, that is a lot of defenders. Hmm. And against Jump Box, I don't agree. Firewalkers will eat that. Black Duchy would have to build a Firewalker. Oh yeah, that's true. But, no, yeah. 900 metal. And, and the thing, firing up the hill isn't a great place for Firewalkers to be. It's not too, too bad. Don't they have enough range to fire from one ridge to the other? They might actually, now that I think about it. But it's, it's not bad, do. but... Yeah, yeah. the, the Firewalker... 
It's not great on the grounds of the Firewalker, but oh, yeah, it's do. not the worst thing. Yeah, the Firewalker has more than enough range to go across from one ridge to the other. And now more puppies, which don't get value because warriors. But yeah, that's... I think mm. the puppies are kind of, like, they're good, but seriously, support them with something. Moderators. Moderators probably work really well, being that warriors are the unit of choice right now for a drone. Like, puppies for glaives and moderators for everything else. That would probably solve all these problems. And Firewalker. Oh, wow, this is perfect for Firewalker. Hammers and defenders together? Oh, if only Black Touchy had more money. This Firewalker is going to be 45 <laughs> seconds. story of this game, really. If only yeah. Black Duchy had more money. Because that Firewalker, that's 45 seconds. Like, that's going to take that. That's how long it's going to take to build. Assuming they build nothing else in the meantime. Instead, Black Duchy is switching gunship, which against that many defenders, I don't think I agree with. No. That's, like, seriously, this is such. This is so perfect for a Firewalker, it's just getting the reclaim for it. Or start trying to stay alive for 45 seconds in order to build it. Which might actually already be too late. If that 45 seconds started 45 seconds ago, then the Firewalker could be able to do a huge amount of damage. And just open everything up. Like, rip apart the southwest side, let the puppies in. Drone's using particle beams, so that's a bit hard. Still. That would have been a lot of damage. But that's not going to happen. Nope. And I'm sure Black Duchy considers the Firewalker, because the Firewalker was buffed really recently. It should be on their mind. However, I don't know. It's a couple know. of months ago now, I think. But oh, that's true. But still, people are using it all the time. I don't know. Jump... Yeah, jump is a hard factor to play. I don't know, I don't know if Black Duchy's played all that much recently. Perhaps he just... I mean, he might just play when I'm asleep. I didn't like. I haven't seen Black Duchy in a while. But, yeah, because I there was. I didn't see like El Dorado was active for about six months, in which I never saw him, <laughs> simply because he always played when I was asleep. Yeah, well, El Dorado is pretty active, but for the most part, the people yeah. in this tournament are coming out of the woodwork, which is pretty cool. I like to see that, but still, a lot of these people have not played in a while, as far as I know. Mm, or at least not Kibay, um Black yeah. apparently, and others, I mean, I haven't seen Honu play in a while, although I haven't really looked at their, that level of LO. Mm. Or I'm not sure the last time they played 1v1. Okay, Black Tachy throws in the towel, oh, and we are... They probably, they probably, that's yeah. it. Mm. Yeah, Laurie probably played 1v, 1v1 a bunch back when they were testing the um, light vehicle versus tank changes. I don't know about yes. since Oh then. yeah, there was tons of games. But yeah, I don't know about since then. I don't even know how much drone has played actually, other than beating Golda recently. I guess they've played a decent amount. So I guess that's game. Okay, there we go. Now throwing it yep, down. He's tapped out. Actually. So Black Duchy goes Such to fight Aurelius. And. Drone is there. It is. Yeah. Drone takes it. Well, at least, at least Black Duchy gets the Kamikaze award. Blew up the yeah. Well, the puppies. Yeah, that... The puppies do that. Yeah, do the metal. Mm, yeah, the metal used graph looks about like you'd expect. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Drone just had better metal. Although neither player really accessed. Drone accessed a tiny bit at the very end, but in both cases they were pretty solid. They were on point with using their metal. Mm. Just Drone had more of it. So that's good. That's always good. If you're on point using your metal, at least that wasn't something that was completely ruining you. So, in the winner's bracket finals we have Drone versus Cuba. Wow. Okay, one sec. Just can you talk to the stream for a sec? Uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, talk to the stream for a sec. Right. Talking to the stream. So, <laughs> drone versus Cube. So, common consensus is that Cube is going to chase, and whether drone holds that chase or not's going to determine whether he wins. This is kind of obvious. I don't know what to say here. So, for, okay. Firewalker in that game. In fact, let's just talk about 
let's talk about Jump Factory in general as applied to that game. Black Dutch went into just about pure Poppy, which is good against Glaive. It's probably not great against it's not great against, against defenders because yes, I know you can beat a puppy with a you can beat a defender with a puppy if you micro and you and do the fancy at, attacking to dodge defender missiles trick, but that doesn't work in a practical situation where you have lag. And even if it, even if you have no lag through some magical process, the sheer amount of micro you'd have to expend to kill a single defender is just not worth it. And that's, a, and that's in a one puppy versus one one puppy versus one defender scenario. If there's multiple defenders, that just doesn't work. Anyway, so the, so the puppy spam, not great against defenders. Those defenders also kill pyros. Um, they don't kill jacks. They don't, you know, they, they don't kill jacks, so perhaps Black Dutchy could have gone into jacks there. Um, could have also gone into Firewalker, as Shadow Fury suggested. I, the trouble with the... The, fi the firewalker would have been fragile, especially with the with the glaives and the especially the scythes running around. The, fi the firewalker could have very easily been lost, which would be a concern. I think Jack would Jack would have given Jack would have given drone something to think about at least. Well, I mean, there are I, I don't think he would have been too hard pressed to counter it. Uh, let me just go into Zeus if nothing else. I th you can kind of beat Jack with Glaive, maybe with good micro. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of creativity coming out there from Black Dutchie. You can't need to get creative if you're going to play jumps in a one v one. It's a very, jumps are very good support factory, and so, so like a two v two or a small teams kind of game, because there you, you can rely on your teammates to do damage and support them with, say, a placeholder. Placeholder is placeholder is pretty good in combination with other jump units. It's amazing in combination with units from other factories, especially the ones that deal area of effect damage at a range. So something like a rogue placeholder is pretty ridiculous. Um, okay, else? I'm back. Sorry about that. Need to oh, something to eat. Yep, okay, no worries. Okay. So Where's we're back to the two, Hold on. What are those boxes? I don't know. I guess we're having five players. Someone messed up, I suppose. Oh well, it shouldn't be a big problem. I mean, just they can be fixed. In fact, I could probably fix it right now, since the bug is likely something type one. No, they didn't. What? Yeah, probably. Oh, yeah, I don't know how this has happened. <laughs> I mean, why, why is there a box five at all? It's so confused. That's weird. Yeah, I think you need to be a. I have no idea. <laughs> That's hmm. It's an arcade, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Darn. Tell them they need to switch the boxes. Because that shouldn't happen. Now, for anyone watching, it's that's not gonna work either. Yeah, that wasn't helpful. <laughs> I continued to not be okay. That's better. I, th I think that's good enough. <laughs> I think that's about what it was. Yeah, this 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 is some. Um, this is close enough. Kind of surprised because the actual the boxes in that are stored in are correct. Like in case you're wondering, for those of you who can't see, it was the top right corner was one, and the bottom left corner was five instead of two, which is obviously wrong. Yeah, I'm not sure how there was a box five at all. Nor am I. That was very bizarre. <laughs> 